Okay guys, today we're going to continue our study of uh, the great Buck Owens and his great lead guitar player Don Rich, of course with the song that would be the band's namesake, or vice versa. Uh, Buckaroo! No, I haven't actually written the tabs out yet, I'm going to do that later and then put it in the... going to write it out later and put it in the video info, so I'm just going by what I remember right here. I got my guitar uh, tuned up, and please know, guys, I'm using 12s for my strings, so these things are really, really hard to bend, so they cut me a little bit of slack here. Alright. So, first things first, we're in the key of D. Regular records in the key of, uh, these will be uh, D flat, E sharp, whatever. But they tune down, so once again, same fingering. The main lick is based off of a moving D chord. It starts out looking something like this. Go ahead and play your D string. Yeah, keep the uh, E chord on there, then play the next two strings down, the G string and the B string. You're going to play the open E string. Then lay it back down like you're playing a D chord on the second fret. Third fret with your pinky. Release your pinky. And release your middle finger. And hit the D, uh, that would be the third fret on the B string. Like so. Mmm, starting to sound familiar, huh? Alright, then we're gonna move that up to make that D chord a G chord. My telly, so you can see what I'm doing up here. Basically, this D chord, it's like we're playing it with a capo on the fifth fret. So, right here, right here's our D chord. So, you're gonna play the open D string again, get, an, get another D. Play your little, uh, play your G and your B. Play the fifth. Now, now here's where I get some discrepancy with people. Some people want to play it like this. Reach up here. I really don't like to do that. I'm lazy. Sometimes I do it like this. Sometimes I just do it like this. Oops. Something like that. Whatever the case, I'm going to teach you to it as many ways as I can. So once again, hit your uh, your D, then your G, then your B. Now the way that everyone thinks you ought to do, put your pinky up here on what I guess would be the tenth fret on the B string. Hit your uh, this right here, this uh, seventh fret on the E string. Then of course go to your eighth fret. Of course back down here to the tenth fret as we did before, and to the eighth fret so we get our G again. See, I'm switching fingers up. I don't know how the heck to do this. Because I don't like to do it that way. And then I do it, of course, is one of two ways. Start off the same. And I'll hit the fifth fret here with my index finger. That'd be five, seven, eight. Just back here to the B string. And sometimes I just mute this note completely so it makes it easier to play. Really up to your discrepancy. A bunch of drunks in a bar aren't going to know the difference, and neither are a couple of musicians on YouTube. Oops, did I say that? Oh, uh, well, never mind. And of course, it comes back down here to the other D position. And now, it goes down to the A chord. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry I had to do that. I'm sure many of your, many of your ears are bleeding at the moment. But whatever. Now so here, you can play it at either double stops like this, or on a single string. I personally like to do it on a single string sometimes, like... Whatever the case, the basis of the double stop would be... Form in an A chord. I hit your uh, B and G strings. Take your middle finger. Put it on the D. The D note, which would be the third fret on the B string. Release it. And open G on the same strings. Playing the same string groups the whole time. And then if you're going to do it with a single string way, you just play the same thing on the uh, B string. And of course, you can get some hammer-ons and pull-offs going on in there. Sorry. Something like that. Whatever the case, it's just an aesthetic choice. You do whatever the heck you want. So we do that, and we go back to the... We repeat it again once more. So 
sorry. There. I'll run through the first verse because there's a little different. Run through the first, uh, first two, first two repeats. Because there's a little bit of a difference there. So here you go. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Now here's where things get a little different. It goes. Now, you start off playing the same way. You're going to hit your open uh, E string. Hit it on the second fret, then release it. Hit your D, uh, your D, which is the third fret on the B string again. I keep doing that, I don't know why. Goes back down to the list. Just playing the chords on the uh, on the D, G, and the B strings. I'm just gonna walk up on the A string. O two four, and then open D string. Of course, you'll do that. And then, of course, we're gonna go down to the minor chord, by which you have to go do that. It's gonna walk down, so it's just O four two O on the D O obviously, and on the A four two O. Now what he'll do for the first verse, the first bit that he does, this he goes. Uh, no, well, let's see what does he do. Yeah, on the second verse, he'll go like this. But on the first verse, he just goes, which I taught you. Go back to the little bit on the first verse. Then he's going to go to an E minor. So good. Figure your E minor. Let's play string six, four, three, two, one. My cell phone did not just go off. Did not. A very simple arpeggio. Going to play a nice little A lick. And you basically just uh, switch and swap those uh, little bits and licks throughout the entire song and you got the whole thing. Of course, in this pedal steel part, which I like to emulate occasionally. But that is for another day because these are very heavy gauge strings and my fingers hurt like crap. So there's only one more lick that I need to teach you and that's the lick at the end of the song. It goes... There's a pedal steel bend goes or something like that. I can't really vocalize it. I'm not sure why. Whatever the case is, you remember that like I was showing you the other day? It's the same fingering except for a D chord. You can play it like this, and there's also one other way you can play it. So here's the gist of it. Go up to your fifth fret, put your pinky finger on the A, on the E string, on the A note on the E string, and put your ring finger on the E note on the B string. Push my would push your uh, two other fingers on the B string for additional pushing power. You're going to hit both strings and just bend up. You're going to bend up a full step. Sorry. Really hard to do on this guitar. In the case, you'll get a uh, D major chord out of that, and it'll sound like a pedal steel. Now, there's, the other way you can do it is way, way up here. Of course, you're going to put your your ring and your middle fingers on the tenth fret of the B and the uh, E strings, I'm going to put your index finger on the ninth fret of the G string, and you're just going to hit all those notes. I'm going to bend your index finger up. See, it does, just doesn't want to bend on this guitar. Whatever the case, you you will get the idea. Something like that. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'm running out of time here, so yeah, have a good Sunday, everybody. I'll see you later.